Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Past Boutique, and today I'm going to show you possibly one of the world's ugliest antique doll babies. So this is a German doll, and it was probably made um, at the turn of the 20th century, probably between the 1910 time frame to the 1920s. And I believe this was um, Armand Moisse, a German porcelain doll company, um, answer to the Grace Putman buy low baby craze that was going on. Back then, Grace Putman uh, made a doll called a buy low baby, which looked like a newborn baby. And I think those dolls are the ugliest dolls known to man. Um, she particularly made the doll to look like it was just born. And other companies started to follow that craze because it was so popular. She was selling millions of these dolls. I believe Kessner made those dolls. And this one was one of Armand Massey's um, answers to that. And it's equally as ugly. It looks like almost like an E.T. And uh, this one has beady little <laughs> blue glass sleep eyes. An open mouth with little bottom teeth that poke up. Little faintly barely there eyebrows. And upper and lower lashes. And a molded hairstyle with like a little curl on top and the heads the shapes were like ginormous it was like a ginormous baby head and so uh, this one has what appears to be its original outfit with original booties the dress is a little stained which is uh, to be expected from a doll this old and it's like a cotton gown with a little sweater knit sweater and a bonnet that's made out of net lace with a silk ribbon that ties under the chin and you can see, like, they made pronounced ears on these dolls. Um, and they were quite, I mean, quite, quite ugly. And uh, I don't know why I added this one to my collection. I just guess I just felt like it one day. And uh, I did it. I pulled the plunger, grabbed one of these. Um, I guess uh, some people may think they're the most beautiful, most adorable things ever. But I don't know. I just think it looks like a little E.T. And uh, so what I did was I, gave, I found this antique rattle and bear with me a moment. The chair is squeaking. I'm trying to like pull it forward because I'm lazy and don't feel like standing up. Um, yeah, so this is like a little celluloid and uh, silver plated teddy bear rattle or teether. And it's probably around the same time frame as this doll. I found it. I thought that was adorable and I like to accessorize my antique dolls. So they can have little things and I also found an antique glass baby bottle and you can see the rubber nipple part is disintegrating and so I decided to add this along um, to accessorize and on top of it I found this adorable tin lithograph baby stroller um, probably made I, I don't know for sure it's made by superior it says something about superior on the little marking in the back um, and it has like little cats. I think it was made probably around the 30s to the, the 40s. It has little tin lithographic uh, cats. Uh, freaky, scary little like jack-in-the-boxes. Um, the wheels look like they're made, you know, they're made to look like little spokes and rubber, but they're tin as well. Tin was very, uh, very popular metal for toys during the 30s and 40s. And it has a puppy dog on the back. That's tin lithographed. Um, another scary looking jack in the box. It's like John Wayne Gacy, the killer clown. And another putty cat. Looks like Figaro from Pinocchio. And uh, again, the other side has those uh, faux spoked wheels. And the wheels are made out of metal. And let me see. I'll show you the handle. You can see it's like constructed very well. So the handle is metal. The whole thing is tin. And then it has a cute little like a uh, thing, a bar going across with little baby beads, you know, for them to play with. Even though it was a toy, it was made to be a replica of the real deal. So yeah, so I thought you would find this interesting. And actually, let me show you the maker's mark which I found on the back that I can hardly make out because the tin lithographic uh, stamp wore off. 
And then we have down here, Superior with some logo, made in the USA. And the cute little puppy dog again. And then John Wayne Gacy, the killer clown on the side. Um, yeah, sorry, I have a sixth sense of humor. But yeah, so I thought you would think this was cool. And you'd want to see this. And again, this is probably the world's most ugliest antique baby doll. It's like E.T. with a bonnet. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up.